Hello, little friend. How are you? Hi. Look, if I give you the choice between this doll and this bouquet of flowers, which one would you choose? The doll. The doll? It's all yours. Hello, little friend. How are you? Look, if I give you a choice between this doll and this bouquet of flowers, what would you choose? The doll. The doll? Okay, it's yours. Hello, little friend. How are you? Hi. Look, today I bring you two things to choose from. This Batman toy. Oh, it's Batman. Or this bouquet of flowers. Mm, the bouquet of flowers. The bouquet of flowers? But look, Batman is very nice. Don't you want Batman? Mm, no, because it's my mom's birthday. Oh, and you want it for your mom? Yeah. Well, that's all. And where is your mom? She's here two blocks away. Well, let's go. If you want, I'll go with you. Let's go. Hey, buddy, and tell me you were selling gum? Yes, I want to buy some flowers for my mom. You want to buy a flower for your mom? Hey, but aren't you studying? Why aren't you in school? It's just that my dad doesn't have money to me pay for school, so no, I'm not studying right now. Ah, okay. So I'm selling to buy some flowers for her gift, for her present, yes. For her present? Come on. Hey, is your mom here? Is this where your mom works? Yes, here it is. Hey buddy, how much longer? No, we almost there. Hey buddy, are we here yet? Yes, it's here actually. Look, Anna. Huh? It's too late for your mom to be working right now in this sunny weather. Don't worry, we're here actually. Look, this is it. What do you mean, this is it, buddy? Yes. My mom passed away from cancer. Your mommy died of cancer? Oh, friend, why didn't you tell me that when I ran into you? Is that why you're selling the gum? Why did you want to sell the gum? I wanted to buy a gift for my mom because we don't have the money to give it to her. Because, I mean, it, it's her birthday. Oh, my little friend, you miss your mom a lot? Look, mom, I bring you a present. Look, put her the flower, son. You would have told me since the beginning. Look, don't be sad, son. Don't be sad anymore, look. I'm going to help you, okay? Look, take the Batman. I know you like it a lot. Yes, thank you very much, yes. Keep it. Yes? You take the Batman anyway. It makes me very sad, son, that you are going through this. Where is your dad? He's at his best friend's house because, well, we don't have a house. We were renting a house, but we had some problems and we can't afford it. And your dad is working there with him? Yes, as a matter of fact, he helps out. They, they pay him, they pay him well, but we can't afford a house and we have to live there. Oh, son, look, do you want a soda? Yes. We are going to buy a soda, but I'd like you to take me to your dad's. Can you take me to your dad's? Yes. In fact, he's close. He's a little close. Don't be sad anymore, son. Will you take me? Go on. We are just arriving, son. Yes, look, in fact, it is in this little store. Ah, uh, okay. Dad? Wait a second. Wait me there. Is he your father? Yes. This is where he work? Yes. What's up, kiddo? What's up, Dad? How are you? Fine. What's Look, that? The man gave it to me. How are you, sir? Why did you give him the toy? Well, I don't know. No, no, give it to him, give it to him. Thank you very much, but we didn't have... No, don't worry, don't worry, sir. I gave it to him. He doesn't have to pay for it. It's a social experiment. A what? A social experiment. What is that? Well, look, basically today's experiment consisted of a bouquet of flowers. You chose either the bouquet or the toy, but the boy chose the bouquet. But, well, look, I also wanted to give him the toy. What surprised me is that he wanted the bouquet for his mom, because he tells me that it was her birthday now. And look, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but I accompanied him to the cemetery. That's why I dared to come here with you. I asked if he could bring me with you. 
I don't know if you could give me five minutes, sir. Are you busy? I'm working. Ask for permission. I'm not going to take much time to talk to you. It's okay. Let me ask. I wait for you. Yes, here Do I wait for you. Do not accept things from strangers. No, Dad. Just five minutes. Of course. Come on. Let's go to the shade. Thank you very much. Thank you for allowing me to talk to you. I know you are very busy. But as I said, this is what I do. I'm doing the social experiments. Now I'm going to explain to you what the experiment basically consists of. But friend, tell me about it. I mean, it broke my heart to see the boy bring a little box of gum that he told me he was selling to be able to buy a bouquet of flowers for his mother. No, well, it's... It has been some time since my wife left us. Oh, friend, I'm really sorry. Thank you, but... We were left alone, my son and me. And my son's grandparents, my wife's parents, well, no. They put all the blame on me because I didn't earn enough. That I couldn't save my wife. But that was out of your hands. But, well, I know, but... And we put a lot of effort into it working a lot. Well, no, no, my wife didn't survive. And, well, the good thing is that, well, there was a place there with my parents. And I was able to leave her there because with, with my in-laws, well, no, they left us alone. They totally turned their backs on you, friend? No, they pretend that we don't even exist. They don't want to see the child either? Well, no. We haven't seen them for several years. And what did your wife die of? Your child told me that she died of cancer. Yes, it was cancer. Yes, because it was not detected in time, so... We're staying here with my friend. He rents us a little room up there in the store and he gives me a job. And here the neighbors, well, they already know me and all of a sudden, well... They ask me to fix a pipe or to paint their house. Do you do any work? Everything. I need to get the kid ahead, right? He was telling me that he is currently not going to school. Because it's difficult. We don't have... We have no money. Sometimes we only have enough to eat. Sometimes once a day. Sometimes he comes out... to sell the chewing gum, like this. And I tell him, no, kiddo, not you. Not you, because that's what your father is for, isn't it? Well... And he wants to help you, brother. Well, you can see that you are injecting him with good foundation and good values. Well, that's what my parents told me, right? They took good care of me. Well, now I need to take care of him, right? Right, kiddo? Yes. When I ran into him, when I was doing the challenge with him, he never mentioned it to me. I mean, he only told me that he want the flowers because his mother's birthday was coming up. And he asked me to go with him. But I never imagined that we were going to the cemetery, my friend. No, well, it's... Well, we miss her very much. It was... Well, she was our everything. She helped us a lot. She told him stories at night. And she never let me alone. My in-laws, well... They didn't love us. That was since always, brother? Yes, since always, because they wouldn't let us being together. And we were really in love, really. We were really in love. We lived there in a beautiful neighborhood. Because I brought to, to pay a good rent. We were even talking to the owner to see if we would buy it. Then the disease came. I talked to my in-laws. And I asked them to help us. They don't have much money either, but... But we were living from day to day. Well, we had to get out of there. I was at the hospital all day with my wife. Until, until she couldn't take it anymore. She lasted a long time with the disease? A few months. But then... Well, now... 
Well, I promised my wife that I would take care of my little boy and that I wasn't going to leave him. And it pains me that I can't pay for school. Because if he has to study... Of course, but in the situation you're in, it's understandable because... Well, there is no money. There is no resources. Look, I'm worried about the kid. But I'm also worried about you, brother, because... No, I'm fine. Look, brother, I'm still... I know what it's like when a man gets close to another man. And you feel you have to take that stance of... I have to get by without help from anyone else. But brother, you're not alone. Look, you obviously have a very strong depression. Well, who knows? Recently, a friend of mine said to me, Hey, you hardly sleep. You don't eat. Sometimes I just sit there, out there. I don't know if it's depression. But what does it matter? I have to take care of my child. Yes, you're right. I don't have anyone, so what does it matter? No, no, no. On the contrary, it is of admiration, brother, but... Well, practically part of the social experiment is... Is to find people like you, brother, who are unfortunately going through a difficult situation. Who can't get out of a difficult situation right now. And well, brother, with all due respect, what happened to you is not something... It is not something... Something minor. Look, I... I would like to reward you today, brother, if you allow me to do so. Because... Well, as I tell you, brother, the social experiment is about that, to look for people like you that right now are struggling. Look, the kid brings very good values. All the other kids chose the little toy. But the social experiment brings a reward. I would like to please, brother, help you today if you let me. But how would you help me? Look, please take it. This came with the flowers. Of course not. Put that away. Dude, please look. This is what it's all about. That's how I work and this is the reward you've earned. Look now, if you gave him the toy with that, it's okay now. It's okay. Look brother, I dedicate myself to do this. And it's a way of thanking God for what he gives me. Please take it. No way, I'm an honest worker. I understand you brother. Look, don't be offended, don't be angry. Look at this like... As if your wife was sending it to you brother. Please take it, brother, so you can take your son to school. Yes, Daddy, to take me to school, to be with my friends. Please take it, brother. Look, as I told you right now, I know that among men it is very difficult to open up, but it's all right, friend, it's all right. That's what we're here for, to lend a hand. Please take it. My wife sent it to me? Seriously? Yes, brother, your wife sent it to you. What do you think, kiddo? Take it, brother. Please take it. Now we can eat every day. How can I thank you? No, please go ahead. Look, I would like to help you with therapy so that you can get ahead, brother. Because you have a very strong depression. Look, I want you to take the child to school. I will continue to support you to get a scholarship for him. So that he doesn't miss any more, brother, if you allow me to do so. Ah, uh, well, and how do we do it? Look, I'm going to make an agreement with you right now. I want you to give me your contact information. And I want you to give me two days, because I have one more surprise for you. No, bro, this is enough. You don't have to worry about it, brother. As they say, let yourself be loved. What do you think? It's fine, Dad. You let me? Yes? All right. Well, look, we're going to pass the data to each other, and in two days I want to call you, because I have another surprise for you. Thank you very much, my love. Here, my friend, here! Did it cost you to get here? A little bit. We are not familiar with the streets. It's all right. I'm glad you could come. Look, I was telling you, I wanted to give you a second surprise. You had told me that you were paying rent and you were struggling a bit. Yeah, with my buddy up there. Look, brother, this is part of the social experiment and this is part of the reward from what your wife keeps sending you. 
Please look, I want you to take these keys. What are they for? These keys, look. They're from this apartment. This apartment, brother, from here on out. It's gonna be for you and your son. No, but I don't have to pay the rent for this. You don't worry about the rent, bro. You're not understanding me. This is yours, bro. Completely yours. Is it mine? Yes, it is. That's for you and your son. Are you fooling me? I ain't fooling you, bro. I told you so. It's a reward your wife is sending you. Please accept it. Look, let's go in, please. Come in so you can see that it's not a joke. This is already yours, brother. It's yours and your son's. Hey, but... I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. You're welcome, brother. I just want you to get ahead. Well, as I was saying, I see a very strong depression in you. And I want to keep helping you. I'm going to help you with the therapies so you can get ahead. But you don't have to worry anymore. Neither for your son's school, nor where to live. From now on, this is your house. But it's enormous, bro. And it's yours. You see it, kid? It's for you, brother. Look, please come in and see it. Go ahead. If it's yours, brother, go ahead. You are in your own home. Look, Dad. A fridge and the table is huge. Hi, Dad. I'm sorry, it's just that, well, your mom is taking care of us, you know? Easy, brother. Are you okay? You feel good, brother? Yeah, yeah. You want something? Are you right? You feel good? Well, I don't know what to tell you with... How can I repay you for all this? No way, but by getting ahead. Look, your son is finally going back to school. Yes, we already went to talk to the director. How nice, brother. I'm very happy and well. Look, I'm telling you, your son's school is already secured and where to live. Now I want you to take a good therapy. Ah, uh, yes, this... Well, I couldn't talk to the... To the doctor you told me about. But... I saw that I also have a phone. Of course you have everything. I dial from here. You don't have to worry about anything but getting ahead. Here I dial the doctor. I don't know what to tell you or how to pay you, my brother. Thanks, my love. I told you I was going to take care of this one, but I didn't know you were going to send so many blessings from heaven. It's okay, kid, come. My brother. Thank you very much. We have to make an effort. Nothing to thank. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much. You too. Thank you for helping my child. Dear God, thank you.